No, I'm trying to make the <laughs> penguin. Right, the well, penguin I, I, does not obey. Obey me. Oh, no. No, uh, no. Don't crush me with all your money, penguin. <laughs> and welcome back to another Linux Gamecast. We lose the show to cover the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. This week, we are going to be talking about Epic buying rocket cars, basically pissing off everyone. And the world of goo has received an update. After only 10 years. EA joins Team Spock. Something, something, something. Come on! And the Valve Index is available for pre-order. Not everywhere, though. Someone who isn't Valve decided to tackle moving the Steam library, uh, library around. Um, <laughs> this time, you're far less likely to accidentally rm-rf forward slash star. And uh, DXVK 1.1 is out. Again, this time for real, you guys. It's a real boy, kind of like us. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. I'm Vince Stone, and um, er, slightly echoey, but freshly moved Canadian. Uh, and this one, Jordan Sfeng. And the man who's been up for, like, more than eight hours at one time. He's a little tuckered out, <laughs> but you know him, you love him. That's Pedro Matias, and together with I you at home. I usually do the 16 hours. Joining us live, helping us form the most special bit known as Cocaine Voltra. Before we get started... Let's see what's going on in each other's list since we've already brought up the moved Canadian. Uh, how, how are things? How, how How's boxy? <sighs> all right. All right. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, I, I, I mean, I mean, I, I figured I figured after after getting moved in, upgrade my box to Fedora 30. That was actually very painless. Like that, that, that didn't that did not cause any issues. What caused issues? Let, 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 me, let me spin you a story, children. Sit down, children. This, 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 this is going to take a while. Um, Goodbye, right. children. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, children. <laughs> well, what would a priest want to put up our butts? Uh, <laughs> anywho. So, first off, uh, A, my old building doesn't let you move on Sundays, which is idiotic. Okay, Secondly, that was the old building? That was the old building. Does not let you move on Sundays. Oh, I would have just been like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> still moving. Yeah. What are you going to so do? Kick I, me out? Yeah, right. So, so, <laughs> so, I took it. I, 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 I didn't feel like burning that bridge and getting sued. So, I took, I took a day from, I took a day off from work, uh, and I called the moving company, and I'm like, "Hey, man, I need to move on a Monday." So, apparently, that is not an entirely unoriginal idea. Everyone wants to move on Mondays, it seems. So, I, I had a hard time getting some movers. I managed to find some. Could you find some shakers? No. No. no, 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 no shakers. I, 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 don't, I don't want them to shake things. <laughs> Stirrers? And if, they, if they shake my computer, then the fucking Bendy oh, Skylake okay. will like... You, you get this awesome deal on movers and one of them shows up and he's like... <laughs> right. <laughs> my, my, the, the Michael J. Fox moving service. Um, oh, that's cool, man. You're dead to me. What's up, Pedro? <laughs> oh, not, well, man, uh, I, I over here... Finish my story. You, you took too long, sweetheart. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Nori's sister came by to visit, so next uh, week. yeah, we're going to be uh, doing things this week, which I suppose it's a good thing that it's a bank holiday on uh, Monday. <laughs> Clang. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and in the meantime, the um, 1050Ti in Nori's PC is actually kicking all manner of but when it comes to improved performance on video games. <laughs> All right, Jordan, what's part two of the story? All right, part two of the story. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so uh, I, get, I, get, I, get, I get a call from the moving people the day of saying they can't fucking get a crew out. It's the one day I have off, so I tell them, man, you better fucking get, uh, you better fucking get people over. They ended up finding a crew at the last minute, quote unquote. And then all the elevators broke down in the old building. Hmm. Like literally all the, every, all but all but like the one service elevator and like oh well we can't fucking um, we can't we can't fucking uh, put the elevator on service mode until uh, uh, un un until the elevators are fixed because we need to have one elevator to service the building. So I ended up having to move all my shit downstairs myself, which was fun. And I this is after I had paid people to do this. So oh, ugh. good times. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, o over here in Vinland, I'm not. Yeah. What the fuck did you throw at the floor? A spoon? Uh, it was a uh, Allen key. That'll teach it. Um, yeah, <laughs> angry. We're over on Fedora because reasons, man. I, I've been spanking mm. Fedora into shape and it hasn't been putting up much of a fight. Some might even say it likes it a little bit, but 
we kind of moved over that mm. for DaVinci Resolve and, and getting Jack and everything set up. So if we just die in a fire, we'll, we'll just blame IBM. <laughs> yep. One thing we can't blame IBM for is the horse. Man, the the horse the horse doesn't have a fetching new hat either. Minus because I think it stole it up from some shadow man. Anyways, it's the stupidest god day. All right. Well, the 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 much rumored, much anticipated Valve Index is now available for pre order. Um, you Fine can too. get the wait. Yeah, you you can you can get the uh, you can get it as a combo of the headset, base stations, and controllers. The headset and the controllers, or the headset uh, controllers or base stations individually. Uh, I don't get I don't get prices. We we apparently can't uh, pre order VR in Canada. It's already too real up here. It's too advanced. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But uh, uh, I, I I don't know. So you you can't do the VR test under Linux apparently. That's, that's yeah. That a... kind of pissed me off. I was like, wait, huh? And I was like, oh. Yeah. But my first thought was like, seriously, we got to do this under Proton? Okay, fine. And that didn't even work. And I'm like, oh, what? The no, hell, it man? just crashes. <laughs> uh, one thousand seems about right for the amount of kit that is on offer. I mean, this is if you get the whole thing, it's new headset, new lighthouses. Um, I don't know, sparkly hairdo and all that. Already sold out of the initial batch, which kind of shocked me, but that was after the entire internet just went, it's too expensive. No one's going to put it sold out. Oh, okay. But yeah, see over here in poor land, it, that's still <laughs> prohibitively expensive. <laughs> I got to think about it like this, man, because you know, I, I saw somebody in the comments on the Reddit's. I'm like a thousand dollars is how can you justify? Because you know somebody's yeah, I just ordered one, pre-ordered it before it went out, and he was like, "It's simple. I'm in my thirties and I don't have kids." It's like <laughs> fair point. I mean, for a thousand pounds or nine hundred nineteen as it is here, I'm not saying the I money could, could basically... not be better well spent, but if frivolous money burning, if you had an extra grand and you would buy a new PC, right? Yes. Okay. Now maybe you didn't want to buy a new PC. I could see you get what I'm saying, right? Yeah, I, I get. I, I, I'm dancing. I, I, I don't know, man. If, still, if, if I had an extra grand, I'd buy myself a overpriced top of the line video card, which is about as much as that. Yeah, a <laughs> thousand pounds for what is a glorified peripheral or uh, five peripherals seems a bit much for me. Mm. For me, I get that. That's a me thing. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, you you, you got to be curious if like we're we're gonna see like a, a a revision in the next six to eight months that is gonna be a lot cheaper, or if if the if the like uh, Vive and Vive Pros are gonna like. Yeah, I was about to say that's price. going to be the revision. Um, yeah, it's interesting. You can mix and match. Get the new headsets. Uh, get on them out of the gate. Mm -hmm. They're like, yo, we're still supporting Linux. It's Valve. Good on you for that. And hey, this is we we got to go through. I'm sure by like Mark Four, Mark Five. I'm like, I right, don't pick one of those up. Mm -hmm. Until then, one billion users on Steam what? has reached one billion accounts, which I can only say this has to include like every account made in the history of ever since the beginning of like Tuesday. Seriously, it does. yeah. <laughs> because uh, they uh, in the article they specifically say it's like yeah, uh, in like January 2018, Valve said that they had. 90 million active accounts you don't really go from 90 million to a billion in a year not even valve can do that <laughs> yeah and like this, this has to include like all the smurf accounts that people have set up as well because well I, even like people i know have more than one steam account like it's fairly it's fairly common i yeah don't um but, you know, Steam's really been trying to cut that down, though. Like, what is, like, the minimum buy-in? Like, five bucks or whatever before you could get Yeah, for you to, to get the community stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. At, at, at some point, like, I think I need to open up an extra Steam account for, like, all the humble keys I have that are just duplicates. Because <laughs> they're just, they're not doing anything otherwise. Right. Oh, I don't know, man. I, I'm just saying, hey, sweetie, you got a lot more buying to do if you're sitting on a billion users. That's uh, uh spo spoilers. Spoilers. <laughs> hey, let's talk about moving Steam. 
Yes. So you may remember in the past, uh, people advised against moving the Steam library because uh-huh. if you did, nope. uh, there was a bit of a bug with the uh, Steam scripts that basically ram, uh, ran rm-rf forward slash star if it didn't detect your initial library. And as such, many scripts like SteamMV uh, popped up. And this one is uh, actually... Last update was three days ago. You can find it on GitHub. Uh, GitHub. 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 Yes. Right. <laughs> you can tell I've been up for a few hours. Uh, but yeah, basically what this does is the exact same th- uh, same thing that Steam already allows you to do. is just that the Steam script, specifically, uh, it fails when you hit a file that's larger than like two gigabytes. So people were like, yeah, that needs to be fixed, and they still haven't fixed it. So this person decided, you know what, I'll just make a script that will move the files and update the uh, Steam uh, VDF files, or whatever they call them, uh, to say, no, this game is has been installed to the new location that it's in. So it basically gets around all of the like little niggles that you have to do if you're trying to move a Steam folder from, say, like the old SSDs that you had to the new one that you just bought specifically for your Steam library. It's, yeah, I wish Steam would just do that automatically and they actually fix that stupid bug, but they haven't. So, okay, <laughs> I, I just have a dedicated Steam drive. That's how I roll. I'm like, I have yes. 250 gigs and like, that's what I'm allowed in games, period. A terabyte. Have, well, I have, it's SSD. I have four dedicated Steam drives. So. Um, well, okay, you, you got you got control issues. We've established this. However, <laughs> what what does this hit? Like, say, if I just take like games off my Steamy drive and move them over to like a scratch drive, then I tell Steam like, "Hey, man, the game's over here now. It'll go fuck you and like no, kill my uh, cat." Move it, moving individual games is fine for the most okay. part. Mm-hmm. Um, it's when you're actually trying to like move that library folder that it fucks up. Mm. Yeah. So if you're just moving everything from one spot to another. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, that makes sense. It's good that the mm-hmm. tool's around and it's uh, priced to sell it free. Yeah. Indeed. It is completely free and open source. On, on, on GitHub. All Indeed. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the next bit was a little bit overshadowed by, by what we're going to talk about next. Because the original link that we had in the show notes is like, oh, it's the Rocket League news page on Steam. And then something happened, and the update that we were going to talk about, yeah, (laughs) the update that we were going to talk about was a little bit drowned on, you know, Valve going, okay, this is a thing that happened, and Cyanix going, okay, this is a thing that's happening. But yeah, no, the the update is still there, and they have uh, made a couple of bug fixes, and they changed some audio bits. There's... Wait, no. Nope. Yeah, the, there's still nope. some um, nope. some known issues happening. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> One six two. Uh, that's hey, the new version listen. of Rocket Cars. Dude, they finally fixed the echo effect on the ball. Uh, the fuck is that? I don't fucking know, man. I, it... I'm just worried that the bug fix, uh, the known issues list, is almost as big as the bug fix list. Dude, all, so... I, all right. All I need to know is, does it still fart? Want to stab it with my spikes? Probably, yeah. Okay. yeah. <laughs> <We're good>. <laughs> <laughs> spiky, spiky, okay, spiky so bullshit, let's man. just get into the big news of Why the week, not? shall we? <laughs> dun dun dun! Epic has acquired Rocket League. Yay! And the internet is ecstatic with no boo. No, really. What does this mean for Rocket League? Question. Oh, gang of shit. We're not telling you about because we're gonna be some dodgy motherfuckers on the internet. Mm-hmm. Like you'll have been. A um, lot of speculation floating around. So the Psyonix team is like, yo, nothing's changing in the immediate time right now. You can still buy Rocket League on Steam for the time being. And they're like, well, wh- what about after the end of the year and everything goes down? They're like, hey, shrug emoji. We're not going to say no. you can't, but you're not going to fucking be able to buy it on Steam. It's only going to be an yeah. epic thing. And why are we really concerned about this? Because probably not going to get the Linux version over on the old Epic store now, are we, lads? Probably not. There is and no Epic Linux version. Hey, man, I heard you could run it. I, I heard the, uh, the a French guy ported it. Yeah, the, the Linux Foundation told me about it. <laughs> 
Yeah, that's a, that's the whole thing. Um, yeah, so very very quickly, these guys have gone to like roll roll back. We do like we haven't said anything. We haven't made any decisions yet. No, we we know what's going to happen. This mm-hmm. is this is the epic move. Well, mm-hmm. okay. They, they, to like quote them, uh, they initially said the PC version. Of, we want to get this right. Rocket League mm-hmm. will come to the Epic Game Store in late 2019. In the meantime, it will continue to be available for purchase on Steam. Thereafter, it will continue to be supported on Steam for all existing purchasers. And yes. Yes. they rolled that nothing statement back with a more vague, like, shrug yes. emoji. Yeah. Yes. The, 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 the vague shrug emoji was, uh, what, what, um, oh, God damn, I'm trying to find it. I will be continued to be supported for all Steam purchasers. Um, and, uh, there's, they have not announced plans that they have, st- that they're going to stop selling the game on steam. That was the rollback. We, we've made haven't them. Announced haven't announced it. Haven't announced totally, it. Yeah. yeah. Technically it, it, correct. This will be, if Psyonix actually goes ahead with this, this will be a shit show of epic proportions. He did it. Uh, hey, but, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, this is com- competition, right? <laughs> Sure, yeah. Yeah, competition. That, uh, how's that exclusivity going there, Epic? Oh, wait, now you've partnered with Umble and all of those um, uh, exclusives that you had. All of a sudden, they show up on the Humble store. Huh. Yeah, uh, mar- mar- market capture is a totally valid form of competition. It absolutely <laughs> is. If you just buy up all your competition, then, you know, you don't have to compete. Um, but yeah, like, of, of course this has Linux users rightfully concerned, because... Epic has na- made no motion towards saying, "Hey, we're going to actually have a client that uh, that that works on under Linux and will allow you to install Linux versions of games that you can actually currently buy on the Epic Store. They have their mm-hmm. games that have Linux versions that are just plain Jane unavailable." Um, Py- Pyre was um, or not Pyre uh, Hades from Supergiant was especially egregious because it's built on FNA. They can just shit out a Linux version because it will just work, but. We don't. We don't. Get Proton that will run your XNA game without even needing anything else. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I can see this. Dirk, if, if we have. Let's go ahead and make our predictions. Okay, so we everybody can All go right. back spin, and spin the wheel of bugger bugger. Yep. Let's break that out. Um, here's what I'm going to think. I'm 100. percent uh, Rocket League will be going to Unreal Engine 4. Yes. 100. percent That's the plan here. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to happen. And the Steam version is going to stay on UE3. I don't think they're going to nerf interoperability. They'll, they'll keep it compatible, but there's going to be new shit on the Epic Store. There's going to be new cars, new modes. Oh, the, the, it's going to look better. It's going to have all those Here's fancy dick move, though. Here's effects. the dick move. They're, they're going to make that for all the consoles, even the Switch, just not for Steam. See that 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 that's kind of an interesting theory because like then you get into the fucking cement the the issues of like running two concurrent like source trees of a game and like shit will just not work like it will be impossible to maintain if they move everything to UE4. Hi, uh, um, sweetie, could you could you come over here and uh, answer this? Uh, oh, oh, what's what's that, sweetie? That's the plan, Jordan. Yeah, I I I I, I know. Like there 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 is no good. W- My point is there is no good way they can sell this at all. It'll it'll no. just be bad news. <laughs> See, the moment they do that, that's when the aforementioned shit ho- shit show will uh, hit the um, proverbial fan. Shit show. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, whatever. That's just how it rolls. Okay, uh, we do have some good news, though, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> You know, Something you know, that, that isn't that, going away from Steam, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> By this, could, could, could you could you imagine? Could you imagine? Yeah. Any, anyways, uh, so Danger Zone. You know that one battle royal that actually works under Linux has mm-hmm. a new map. It's called Shiraco. Um and I guess we're gonna we're gonna try it out at some point. I mean, we have we have the Counter Strike Go server, um, mm-hmm. and yeah. New 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 maps are always good. We were kind of wi- the 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 default one. I forget the name of it. We kind of we kind of uh, played a bunch of that already, so we should see what other stuff they have. Yeah, up. I'm kind of surprised they didn't roll out with a gang. They was like, "Here's the one battle royale." This was like Valve's initial fight back to like Epic blowing everything up. And they're like, "Look, we got battle royale. You got Fortnite, mm-hmm. but battle. Look, we got a map." And like in true Valve fashion, is like, "And that's it." 
never to be heard of again. <laughs> yeah. Months later. It'll be interesting to try out a new map. I'm probably not going to do that tonight, but stay tuned to the future. We'll definitely get a gang of people together. And uh, I, I don't know if we have the uh, dedicated CSGO server, but we can, yeah. uh, we can still use the regular public ones. It's not going to be too if, hard. Like, like, like a bunch of plebs. Yeah. Like <laughs> because in the new map, there was a bit of a bug. If you went to a certain specific location uh, on the map, there was a floating fish <laughs> that was supposed to be in the water, but was not in the water. It was fish, fish, fish float. You know. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they removed that. That was disappointing. <laughs> Aw. Break the deal for you, man. You're like, God. <laughs> I'm out. Uninstall. <laughs> Admittedly, I saw the gifts on Twitter of mm. people like with the fish. It's like, oh, nice. <laughs> right on. Okay. I can dig that. Uh, updates. Kind of a blast from the past. Something we've thrown the chairs at way back in the old days is Assault Android Cactus, which was a competent bullet hell, right? Yes. I mean, it looked nice and had a decent time playing it. A little bit of an update, uh, it's now on the Switch, so they had to raise the price, because that's what Nintendo does with a lot of developers, like, you need to have price parity and all, but it's on sale right now, they've thrown in some auto-aim, nice touch, still no online multiplayer, which I think would really make this shine, uh, there's a movie gallery and a couple of other things, uh, with, like, Knockdown and Revive Assist and Fingerstyle Plus, not as kinky as it sounds, but it's definitely a thing. Too many fixes and improvements and adjustments to the list. What does this thing cost now? It's not some key, uh, 20 bucks, meh? Yep. Yeah. It's about I, five bucks more expensive than it was originally. <laughs> Yeah, ra raising the price is like when 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 I first read that, I'm like, man, that's 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 a bold move. But then when I thought about it, like, that, I mean, it make, it makes sense, right? They're continuing to develop it. They want to continue mm -hmm. like making money off it. Um, and PC gamers just have like a very complex relationship between you know developers and price because you know they want they want cheaper games, but they also want developers to you know, be able to make a living and, or supposedly anyways, I don't, I don't, I don't know. In theory. In theory. <laughs> well, it depends we, on we, how you do it. I mean, some developers, you do, especially with everyone's knee jerk reaction to like DLC and enhancements. I mean, everyone's a little trigger happy, like, no, but then you got companies like team cherry who just kept on just yes. pouring <laughs> free stuff on you. When they finally got around to like, we're going to charge for the, we're like, here, take my money. Man. You're good. Yeah. Yeah, I, people I, I, were just I, like, "Oh, you're actually charging now." Okay, there's there's that <laughs> one fucker in the forums probably that was like, "I can't believe you have the audacity," to, you know. It's like, shut up. Yeah, but seriously, long live the Switch. This game and another one we're going to be talking about later on mm -hmm. found a new life on the Switch, and the improvements that they're making to not just get the game working on a new platform, but to get people to play an older game and still make it interesting. That means good things for all the platforms that it already supports. And yeah, um, Assault Android Cactus was already pretty good, and now it's even better. I approve. <laughs> yeah, one, 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 of the, one of the interesting things about like stuff you see on the Switch store too is that when I when I scroll through it looking for stuff to buy, it's like, man, we threw chairs at that, threw chairs at that, threw chairs at that, threw chairs at that. <laughs> it's sort of becoming, it, it, it's kind of what the smock wanted to be, where it's like the sort of off-brand yeah. PC for like playing games on the toilet. You shut your whore mouth. The smocks is tablet. totally going to come out eventually, maybe. <laughs> right, yeah, sure. <laughs> one day. Uh, okay, new games. We got a couple this week. Yes, and the first one's a bit well, it's a bit distancy. It's uh, Yucatan, and it's um, yeah, it's a fast-paced arcade slander style. Slander a game out of the gate, man! Give it a <laughs> <laughs> fast-paced arcade-style racing game built around challenging the player and not letting up. And yeah, no, it it is very much playing for the distance card. It's got the same neon-style graphics. It's got uh, like funky tracks that you have to dodge uh, environmental hazards. It's, uh, it, it, I was just looking at the trailer. It's like, what's wrong with your face? I mean, physics. Seriously. <laughs> That's Shut not up. how physics work. <laughs> it, it sticks to the track physics. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, like, like in super text card, everything just kind of flits above the track. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And, uh, I, w I scrolled down and I went to look at the specs. It's like, oh, I see the windows specs actually have, you know, like, an OS version and more details and you go to the Mac and the Steam uh, SteamOS and Linux version is like, oh, it's just bare 
bones. Was this a just click export kind of job? It looks like they, they got a Kickstarter, so they're, they're very much in the process of it. You know, this says coming soon. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, we don't do early access anymore. So it's going to be coming okay. soon for a minute. Come, All right. come, come <laughs> spoon. Yeah. Come spoon. <laughs> Hey, this is kind of a big game, though. I figured this would be right up your alley, Jordan. Yeah, um, it, it might be if, like, they actually put some development into it. Uh, Last Epoch. It is basically another, uh, I can't believe it's not Path of Exile, which is basically <laughs> Diablo clone. Um, mm -hmm. And also, it doesn't have any multiplayer, which is one of the best parts about Diablo-like games, is that you can play them with your friends. But not this one. No, sir. Um, but yeah, uh, I compare it to Path of Exile because it has the same sort of sphere grid. Uh, system from like Final Fantasy X, where you can like go off and customize your character through um, mm -hmm. th th this massive, massive skill tree that uh, allows you to multi class and do all sorts of neat stuff. Lots of people are fans of that uh, leveling model, and it's pretty neat. But the reviews are mixed, and th that price though for an early access game, 35 bucks. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the complaints have to do with like the fact that there's not really much in the game itself. Um, it's pre it's pretty bare bones. And uh, people uh, are don't don't appreciate that. So it looks like they managed to shove a whole lot of nothing into thirty five gigs, right? Yes, <laughs> but this isn't the first game that did this. Uh, I think it was in twenty seventeen, Vikings Wolves of Midgard. It came oh, yeah. out the exact same premise. Uh, it's a Path of Exile Diablo two style game uh, with, um, well, at least. In Vikings, you actually had online multiplayer or online yes. co-op. Uh, uh, Sandy and I tried this, that out. It was fun. Yeah, uh, this one, it doesn't even have that. And with Vikings, it came out to mix reviews because it was stupidly expensive. It was buggy and it didn't have a whole lot of content going for it at the time. So why don't these people learn? <laughs> They will learn right after the consumer. This is this is the type of game the type of person who's going to put that money down and play it is going to do it regardless. Yeah, uh, pe pe Probably. people people <laughs> sold on the promise of what the game yeah. could be, and you gotta you gotta realize if you're asking for that much money right off the bat, eh, the, maybe just by the looks of it, it's like yeah, it's that game, <laughs> that, sunk that, cost fallacy and whatnot. They're yeah. gonna buy it, man. They're gonna buy it. Um, Arbiter's Mark. I yeah, uh, I, speaking of games, I, I straight up bought this one. I'm very excited. I want to try it out. Um, Felsail Arbiter's Mark. Uh, Sandy clued me into this a couple, uh, I think last year. Um, and it he was basically like, it's basically Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, be, uh, but you can customize everything about your party. And I, I've, I've been waiting for this to come out of early access uh, because, you know, me and 900 million other fucking Final Fantasy Tactics fans keep begging Square Enix to release another Final Fantasy Tactics game. They're like, <laughs> no. So these guys are like, you know, we're going to make our own FFT with blackjack and hookers and giant whale and monsters orcas, that come out of the right. ground. Bills <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it it, it, lo it looks pretty good. I've, I've bought it. I'm probably going to stream some of it uh, this week just because I'm very excited. I love this sort of game and it, it looks like it looks the part of Final Fantasy Tactics. Um, so I'm 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 super into it. Um uh, 100% okay. uh, I like that I absolutely love Final Fantasy Tactics on the PSP. I I think between that and Pokémon's on the emulators <laughs> that I loaded on it, I think it's a pretty even toss up. <laughs> the only thing I know about Pokémon is he's voiced by Deadpool, and that's the way I want to keep it. <laughs> Oh Pretty yeah, much. Detective Pikachu is uh, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get a out of here. All right, coming up next, EA is going to attempt to kill another thing. This time, a little bigger than what they expect. And I don't, I don't know. DXVK one dot one dot one dot one. The one ending. The news are coming to chase away the blues. So stick around while we. All, all our news are belong to us. <laughs> Lose. Lose. I, yeah, no, I had nothing to tie it into the Patreons and Shmo yeah, you know, the give us money the part that rhymes with blues. Yeah, and come on. yeah we, 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 we got we got we got to schmooze the people. We got we got we got to wine and dine them so that they give us money, right? Right. And so that they they can head on over to LinuxGameCast.com yeah. and click the, the support penguin. button. No, I'm trying to make the <laughs> penguin, right, well, penguin I, does not obey. Obey me. Oh no! 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 <laughs> Don't crush me with all your money, penguin. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, if you'd like to crush us with that money man you can yeah you can do that 
we, yeah, we've kind we, of we got we got a support thing. menu now. That it's 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 different than the support page. You just click on the thing you want to do, and uh, it'll take you there. Um, hmm. All sorts of stuff like uh, Amazon affiliate links, Newegg affiliate links, Humble affiliate links, uh, stuff that you can just buy for yourself. Uh, but you can also head on over to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. Give us some money every week. We give you some cool stuff like access to the Discord, access to our show notes. You can watch the show kind of coalesce and as a sure greasy blog. Be like, hey, I want you to talk about this, you weirdos. And we Indeed. Will. Sometimes. <laughs> and, 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 you know, you, you, can, you can watch our quote unquote production meetings, the pre pre super shows, and you get a fancy RSS feed for all of it, too. It's crazy. Um, but we, we get, we get, sell we get, me, we get, baby, we get a, sell me. Come on. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I mean listen, listen, I'm thinking about it right now, but I'm not completely sold. I mean, if you if you want if you want to hear our thoughts about the latest episode of Game of Thrones, that's basically where you because <laughs> okay. we, we don't we don't have it. We don't have a dedicated Game of Thrones <laughs> podcast. You got to you got to check out the previous to, to, super shows. to clarify that anymore. <laughs> Any, anymore. <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, hey, we also have a Amazon wish zone. If you're like, screw it, man, I just want to help you build some stuff in the studio. We got exciting things like camera holders and video encoders and cameras yeah. and i totally am not buying another one of these big ass monitors do you uh do you, do you add our wish list to the uh to the oh, thing yet or uh... that's in the works there's also going to be one for pedro and jordan if you like screw mm-hmm. the studio uh we'll do one for pedro and jordan and you can buy them crazy wacky things uh hey clothe yourselves in hell elks and frank yeah and chairs and it- Prete- yeah, yeah. Pre- pretend that you're a, a, a functional person who wears Hell Elk shirts out in public. Yeah, you, you can do that. We get a little cut of that. You can get a Hell Elk's mug or you can get a chair sticker. Basically, this is yeah. a completely wholly legitimate way to have people like look and think to ask, like, the hell is that about? And they're like, you know what? Nah. And they'll just keep on walking. <laughs> I yeah. don't want to know. <laughs> uh, the, 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 those, those chair stickers aren't like bumper stickers, though. They're not a pain in the ass to get off, are they? <laughs> More than that at 11. Hey, but we they're do want to thank the stickers. beautiful party patrons. You guys have uh, made all this possible and everything we're doing. We want to keep doing more. So, yeah. Yeah, we got we to we thank Sean. We he's, he's our new Patreon. New patron, Sean. He's, 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 he's a very cool dude. I don't know, man. You gotta watch out for Sean. Sean's cool, but you know, Sean, I cut my cut name's you. Connery. Sean, Connery. yeah, Sh- Sean's so cool. He's cold as ice. I'm surprised you can Sacrifice remember those lines. <laughs> Ooh, all right, Shocking let's get into news. it. All right, so the Kronos Group welcomes contributor Oops. member Electron. That one. Yeah. Pedro, you're no, not Pedro, Pedro, you news. need to move your mouse, li- yeah. mouth like a fucking uh, like a bad Godzilla dub. Um, yeah, so uh, Electronic Arts is now a contributing member of the Chronos Group. They're going to be looking at um, helping to shape the Vulcan standard as time goes on. I mean, let, let's let's be real. The headline makes my skin crawl. Everything the EA touches slowly but surely turns to complete dog shit. Mm-hmm. But this isn't as bad as we think it is. It's not like EA will force Linux support um, for Vulcan to disappear. They just want to have a say in what the standard can do and maybe get a bit their hands on a bit of that uh, Stadia action while they're, mm-hmm. while they're at it. Maybe, maybe maybe if we gather together the Dragon Balls, now we can wish for EA to actually like produce Linux binaries for their games. Oh, I still, I, I still wouldn't buy no, them, though. No, no, no. Well, let's not start rubbing each other's Vulcans just yet, <laughs> because, I mean, this is EA. You think about it, they're like sports games, highly multiplayer stuff like that, massive, massive, and I do say potential player base, because Stadia is going to eat a dick. In case you haven't figured that out, it it's a project way ahead of its time in the capacity to deliver it correctly. I mean, even Spock's mentally challenged nephew Spork could logic this one out. But it's still good in the fact that it is getting development studios. They're you know, like, wait a minute, you mean this DX12 thing that only runs on an Xbox and Windows 10 is not the future, bro? Yeah, go figure. But yeah, EA saw a market, a brand new market with Stadia with the exact same people backing it as Android did. And let's face it, Android is the single most popular gaming platform out there right now because it has a metric fuck ton of people using it to play Play Store games. Uh, it's, At this point, it's a whole I really wish I could hold up an end gauge. <laughs> No man, no Nokia. Yeah, Nokia. <laughs> Where's the Engage three? <laughs> they tried, man. They tried. <laughs> Didn't they try to make Engage a service at some point? Yeah. Uh, but do do you honestly think we will ever see? Because EA did try. They're like, because I remember having it's like, oh, 
EA's in the booster store. I was like, what? Okay, I'll buy a sports game. Fuck it. URLs. Yeah. Two URLs. Links to <laughs> a web page. Not even really good stuff either, man. And I was like, nah. So do you think mm-hmm. we'll get the latest and greatest anything you, ever? Oh, hell no. No, no. no we, 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 in some moon future, we may get Origin under Linux, and we'll still ask you for your root password. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, it'll, thing, it'll, probably, it'll probably just run under Lutris, and everyone will suck EA's cock for it. One thing that's been running under Linux for a long time, man. Mm-hmm. Oh, the goo. <laughs> that's right. Part of the original Humble Bundle. I remember this, man, talking about it way back when. Ten years later, I think a little bit of an update, man. And just, you know, they're like, hey, we're back. We're doing a thing. And uh, no new levels, no characters, no new Battle Royale deathmatch mode. Boo. It's just a remastering. <laughs> and they did it for fun. They updated it. I mean, which probably wasn't that big of a task. But, hey, the original ran at 4 by 3 So, you know, you got the 16. It's like the, it's going to the Switch or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> right yeah i i, I mean the, the 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 remaster include like you said includes many much needed features like not being in four by three or having textures that can stick ale or keeping the same file and the config file in the same folder <laughs> you know you know mo- massive improvements um but i mean it th- so this this was like one of the games on the og humble bundle i remember seeing this in the og humble bundle and was like Shit, man. If World of Koo, Goo is coming to Linux, that's like a big indie game. Maybe yeah. there'll be more. And Yeah. <laughs> and that is all we get now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no, it's another perfect example of the Switch breathing whole new life into a really old game. It, because, yeah, they specifically call it out. It's like, yeah, it turns out that the Switch has got a 69 display ratio, so we kind of need that to be a thing and they did the good thing it's like just like uh, assault android cactus earlier so oh what if we just bring these improvements to the versions that we already released on steam a while back okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it it really helps when you're using the same engine for everything mm-hmm. and yeah. you don't have to like have <laughs> platform specific branches and shit you can just you know you you use produce builds and have improvements to one code base to prove all of them. No, that, that's crazy talk though. No, no. That, that is pretty no. cool. I mean, that's something I definitely like to see. And world of goo was definitely one of those games that it's a bridge constructor, but it, it was fun. And I got right up to the point to where I was like, I got to think too much for this. Fuck this. But, <laughs> <laughs> but back in the day, what else were you going to play? That Loki uh, game for the umpteenth fucking time. Loki guru. Speaking of, man, well, not of. We'll get to that in a minute. First, we're going to yes. talk about Vulcan. Yes, uh, specifically DXVK, because as you may know, they put out version 1.1. Take two. And then they had <clears throat> to take it back because it had a lot of issues. And now they've released 1.1.1, which is uh, the hotfix for uh, 1.1. Pardon me. Uh, the, the big news here is that they have basically... Fix the big issues with that first release of 1.1, and they've inter- reintroduced everything that came with it, like per game configuration. Um, the frame time consistency is now better for a great deal of many games. Uh, they have reworked the queries, especially for Unreal Engine 4 games. Uh, so if you're going to uh, be If you're going to want to play Unreal Engine 4 games on Linux, be it with Wine or with Proton, then you kind of want this. And you kind of want to have the uh, NVIDIA 4.18.52.05 developer uh, drivers, the Vulkan drivers, and the brand new Mesa 19.1 kit, because that's the one that actually comes with the Vulkan extension that this is relying on. So... You kind of want those, because if you don't have those, then with the XVK 1.1.1, the performance will actually be worse than it previously was. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I mean, now, now that everyone's done grab their copy of Assassin's Creed right. Unity when Notre Dame burned down, they have, they have a couple yeah. fixes for that inbound, right? <laughs> um, Pretty big on that. But yeah, no. Go on. No, it's like the one thing they fixed is, like, even though it was on the whitelist, um, Near Automata, Mattia, mm-hmm. Mattea, is near, near a, near Mateus. <laughs> a known glitch. The uh, little robot thing that would follow you around. Um, it 
will go seizure tastic on you randomly, like when it's trying to talk to you, and you're like, "Oh, look, I can count to almond." So <laughs> I'm glad to see that fixed. But what were you saying, man? Oh, um, yeah, I was, I was just gonna riff more on like Notre Dame burning down. Um, but <laughs> I, I, I mean, yeah, it's 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 good it's good to see that uh, it's good to see that they have this finally sorted. Everyone can pull the latest and greatest uh, version of DXVK. Hopefully, we're gonna see this in uh, Pro, in a Proton update. And they're going to be like, we're sorry, guys. Be fucked up. <laughs> yeah, no progress. <laughs> Interesting time to live in, man. Uh, Indeed. Stores, Wolfire. Let's get a thing going. Yeah, so as it turns out, Wolfire already had a store. It's called Humble Bundle. You may be, you know, aware of it. Nope. But they decided, you know what? Let's just... Now that Epic is in a partnership with the Humble Store, I can see why they'd want to get away from it. Uh, They decided, let's put our games on itch. And they did. (laughs) And you can get Receiver, Overgrowth, Lugaroo HD, uh, Gridlock, and Desperate Gods. Uh, Every single Bullfire game. And they're all reasonably priced. I mean, you're still paying 30 bucks for Overgrowth. (laughs) Yeah, reasonably. Uh, Dude, they're going to get their money for that for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> Which is I, I a mean, damn shame because everybody who plays that, and like, one, one, 30 bucks on this. Yeah, yeah, 30 bucks for a map that could be, I don't know, a tenth of the size and have the exact same content. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's nice that they're available on itch. Uh, though, I guess at this point, though, if you don't already own Luger or the Growth, I don't know why you'd bother trying to buy them. <laughs> hey, I, I, I like this radical idea they have of selling their games on all stores. Yeah. <laughs> I think maybe Again, this is yeah. epic partnering with Humble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it, like, like I said, it's, 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 it's nice. I'm not, I'm not sure, I'm not, I'm not sure who's going to be buying Wolf it, but it's nice. Humble. Oh, man. Yeah. The, yeah, the Epic Bundle exclusive from now on. Epic Indie Epic Bundle. Epic buys GOG. Well, that's right after they make Rocket League free to play. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Rocket, Rocket League and Fortnite. That's what we need. <laughs> Blast from the past. Erland, something we talked about genuinely like six plus years ago, mm-hmm. has a point release, right? <laughs> 60 new levels. Uh, like New physics update now runs at 500 hertz, whatever that means. Replace the bullet physics, um, speaking to that. And uh, I really wish they had added a online multiplayer to this. Then you could have called it like nuts mode. But this was a <laughs> fun game. This was way pre-Steam. And we didn't have much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but we had this. And it's a little ball. You run around. It's Marble Madness, singular, but with less madness. Mm-hmm. I I I don't I don't know. They seem to they seem to believe that these levels are really fucking hard. I don't know. I I, I could never get into like those uh, super monkey ball type games. I, my brain just doesn't do geometry too well. So but seriously, who comes up with this shit right on their page? <laughs> right. Yeah. I I, 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 caught, I caught that one in the trailer. I'm like, yeah. All right. All right. All right. You 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 win this time. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, see, on Steam, even when Steam first came out on Linux, we had Spectrable, which is very much like this, just you know, with a bit more to it. <laughs> it's got a sense of humor to it. I mean, it's always fun. We stay tuned for the hate mail. Uh, it's interesting that games that you never thought of ever seeing again. You're like, yeah, I'm still working on it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm down with that, man. I fully support that. I say good on them, and it's price to sell. For the price yeah. of free. It's available and get yeah, all of this will be in our show notes. So go check that if you're listening or watching after the fact. All right. Um come, night come terrors. Up yeah, come, it's, a, it's a it's a baby game for babies. I'm gonna throw chairs at it. Welcome back to the chair position where the accused must survive trial by Fedora, Solus, and also Fedora. Or I guess did you play this on Ubuntu then? I don't know. A fedora. Uh, maybe. Fedora, Fedora, Fedora. 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 You need to change that logo then. <laughs> twenty nine and thirty. <laughs> yeah, twenty nine and thirty. Sure. This is this week we're taking a look at uh, Among the Sleep. Um, it's from Curlbite Studios, developed on Unity. You can pick it up for about ten pounds, fifteen bucks, or twenty if you're in Canada, because fuck Canada. What is it? <laughs> Among the Sleep is a first person horror adventure in which you play a two year old child. After waking up in the middle of the night to mysterious sounds, you start exploring the dark comfort or dark looking for Com- comfort. Comfort. Com, com, comfort, com, comfort chameleon. Is. Man, I'm having uh, Max Payne flashbacks. 
Yeah. Uh, the, the the link in the show notes here is to our humble partner link. So if you want to, if you like the, if you like what you see, want to pick up the game, maybe consider buying it through our partner link. That way we can get money. And, you shall. Uh, I am done with you trying to finance what you're doing. Yeah. Exactly. Ben. Ooh. How to how, 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 how run on Fedora 29. Ladies and gentlemen, on the old clunky hotness that is Fedora 29. Um, really, out of the box, this is on the uh, thread booping 1920X, 32 gigajoules of RAM, SSDs, all that fun stuff with the baby uh, 2060 NVIDIA. Out of the box, man, no issues. Uh, it did run at 3840 by 2160, but it was sitting at 30. I didn't dick around with it because I wanted to put it in a little window and play it at 1080p. Solid 60, just chewed through it. That's with everything on YOLO plus swag and maybe a Dorito. What does it look like? No graphical glitches, nothing to complain about. It looks like an indie title made with Unity. We've come to like that. Not bad. With some horrific looking mother. More on that at 11. However, um, controls. Out of the box, I cut on the X-Clone wireless. No issues. I mean, it was logically mapped. I was like, all right, I guess I will run around and crawl around and uh, try to get electrocuted. So, solid four chairs for that health report. Yeah, on Fedora 30, the new hotness uh, with the i7-6700K and the GTX 1080 Ti. Uh, it does, in fact, launch when you hit play on Steam. Um, Performance-wise, after disabling VSync, I was able to get about... It was holding about 75 FPS on uh, UHD. Mm. Didn't bother trying it at um, 1080p because I want my high-definition babies to be high-definition babies. Um Graphical-wise, yeah, Mommy's a horrifying fucking homunculus. <laughs> um, that, 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 that is genuinely the most terrifying thing in this entire Did, game. Didn't you really get the vibe? It's like somebody explained a human to somebody else, and that person was <laughs> fucked up when they Pretty the much. It's like, oh my yeah. god. Yeah, if, if you had to explain, like, human face to an alien, that, that, mm -hmm. that, that might be, like, uh, something they would draw without ever seeing anything. And they were high on the space drugs. <laughs> I, I mean, they're in space, so they're automatically high on space drugs. Mm. Uh, anyways, I played it with the DualShock 4, worked out of the box. Uh, don't get any DualShock prompt. You have to do the mental mapping between the PlayStation and the Xbox uh, buttons, but that, that's about it. I'll give it, I'll give it four chairs. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I saw a little... In quote, uh, in brackets, um, humble thing, and I thought, oh, we're playing the humble version. Okay, I'll I'll do that. So I downloaded the game from humble, and so, oh, they got a ch mod plus x that shit. But as it turns out, if you go on Steam, you could just download it, and it works just fine out of the box. I'm still digging. Have we ever had a game because... that we had to go in and like change the permissions on Steam? I'm sure we have. I can't remember if we did. Yeah, but... no, yeah, yeah. You, you might need to search <laughs> yeah. through the old show notes for yeah. that. One. Yeah, but yeah, no, the performance was it, it was fine. Oh, I remember this looks back like in Game of Thrones. Wait, no, there's light. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. It was that dark. Uh, but yeah, no, I remember having trouble back in 2014 on the calculator uh, maintaining 30 FPS. Nowadays, I have to keep V-Sync uh, on to keep the 1080 from, at 1080p, uh, coil winding its way into an early grave. Uh, the graphics, yeah, barring a few instances of the monster and the, you know, Teddy uh, actually clipping through the scenery in some places, it's fine. And if Mommy is on the way down the Uncanny Valley, then Teddy actually, you know, face planted down there hey man uh, it's the, the enhanced edition with more terror <laughs> yeah the, co the controls yeah though no, controller works uh although it's first person so i just ended up playing it with the mouse and keyboard everything is rebindable but if you're playing the non uh enhanced version uh it uh, still has issues with the mouse sensitivity but again if you're playing it from steam you get the enhanced edition uh already so that's not even an issue anymore so it gets three chairs because of you know ch mod plus x <laughs> yeah I, I mean that like we, we were talking about it before in the pre-show like yeah. that, that that is reasonable if if you install the game or you get a game distributable and you get a fucking schmod plus yeah. exit that's that's minus one chair that that's it yeah 100%. um all right did you have fun with this fun baby 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 did i uh oh okay shut up shut up justin bieber Check it out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the Chair Acquisition, allow me to pause an idea. Baby strafing. 
Yeah, <laughs> seriously. <laughs> all in my all, I do mean all. I was thinking about the entire time was how good a deathmatch map in this house would make, or just with the crawling baby. Spoiler, I rather dislike children, and whenever the Ookie Spooky was going down, I pointed that little fucker right at the Ookie Spooky and stomped on the petrol to see what would happen. It was all for naught. You quickly realize that this, like, amnesia and the lot is more of the atmospheric horror. Admittedly, at the beginning of this joint, with blood in the closet, you had my attention hard. I just got it just a tease, because I'm me, and I wanted this shit to get dark. Real dark. Like, probably couldn't sell it on Steam Dark, if such thing's possible these days. But, among the sleep, the best it could do was, hey man, go solve some baby puzzles while we make racket and shit in the background. Booga booga oogie spooky. This brings us back to baby strafing. Because, Krill by Studio, you have a golden opportunity. I mean, we need the Ultra Enhanced Deluxe Edition to create one of the best arena shooters of all time. Because you should be able to become the bear and ride your war baby into glorious victory. Hashtag mm. Stormageddon, right? No Jeez. more Krill Bright Studios. Nay, Kill Bright Studios. <laughs> P.S. I don't have kids. Um, so send know. your babies to Ben at LinuxGameCast.com. <laughs> I'm giving that a solid, a solid dose, man. I, I had a better time with this for the wrong reasons than I should have. Yeah, child, child endangerment, the video game. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm with Ben. This game did not go anywhere near dark enough for me. In fact, the entire time I'm thinking this baby is in like no real danger at all. This game does not have the balls to fucking legitimately murder a baby. Oh no, 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 it's it's not gonna do it. Um, in fact, I didn't even think there was a game over state. I just thought it was just gonna be oopy spoopy atmospheric horror. Same, I made the same mistake with Layers of Fear because you can technically die in that game, but it's hard. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard to fucking die in that game. I I I died once in this game. Actually, I died twice. I'm like, can I sh can I shove this baby off a cliff? The answer was yes. Question t option two was, hey, I guess I can see the monster now. Does that mean oh it picked me up? Oh, does that mean that like the monster's mommy is she like I don't know an abusive mommy or an alcoholic or something? Yeah. Then I read page. Then I read Pedro's thing. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that that that's about right. Um, <laughs> honestly, the the the, twi the twisted child perspective thing is a neat angle, and I can I can appreciate them trying to milk it for some spooky vibes. You're just barking up the wrong tree. Um, and the gameplay itself is just kind of meh. You gotta walk around, mm -hmm. push, pull, drag, hug the bear when it gets dark, so you can see where the fuck you're going. I mean, so here here's the thing. Like, I'm I'm still in like Baba is you puzzle mode. So this is not anything Ooh. at all. Nothing. Not 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 even like fucking Baba toenail clipping. Yeah. yeah, right. So I I, I I struggle to call these even puzzles. Uh but I mean it's 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 okay for what it is. I, I can I can respect it for what it's trying to do. Mm -hmm. And while I didn't like enjoy it, I can I can I can I know I can recommend this to some people, and on that merit I'll give it like two chairs. Yeah. And if I had to complain, the only it's the way that you make progress in this game. Oh, dude, a it's child's a play mod. Meh. Are you, were, <laughs> because... wait, were, were you were you're Chucky or you're chase or you're being chased by Chucky or you're chasing Chucky? <laughs> war Chucky. <laughs> war, Chucky. war Chucky. Show uh, me your wharf, Chucky. <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh the, the the way you progress is a bit mad. The story is great. But the way you progress is to basically do busy work, and it starts to feel a bit padded, like, the second time that you have to do it, it's like, oh, I basically have to go and figure out how to explore this whole map before I'm allowed to make progress. Uh, it's nowhere near, uh, it doesn't feel anywhere near as padded as, say, Layers of Doors did, uh, but the story here is the big one. There's, um... There's a little bit of talking in the first half of the game when, until, you know, Teddy is quite literally ripped away from you, uh, at which point the game goes eerily quiet and you no longer have Teddy to, uh, like, point things out for you that you may be missing. Uh... Mummy is a bit of a drinker, and when our toddler protagonist goes meandering about in the middle of the night, she's not too happy. And admittedly, the game... The first time I finished it, it did give me some of the feels right at the end when you find Mummy, um, 
like curled up in the kitchen with well, the gas several bottles gone. of wine that have been emptied uh, and you see like Teddy missing his arm uh, after she took it away from you and you take Teddy and you run outside into what I'm guessing is dad uh, and that kind of sort of you know stirred something inside me uh that was good storytelling like the the amount of environmental storytelling going on in this game it's like it's the world from a child's perspective it's a scary place there's a lot of stuff you don't know and that stuff is really scary and the atmosphere is just perfect it just doesn't get full marks because the gameplay itself yeah it's padded busy work so i gave it three <laughs> so yeah gone. i was gonna say final thoughts man um with this i i genuinely like this game better when it was called papa and yo <laughs> yeah yes there's definitely some similarities there uh, yeah <laughs> a little bit right mm-hmm. that's all i had to say Oh yeah, I, I, was, I was gonna say I would have preferred like oh. if they were going with the alcoholic monster mommy thing. Mm-hmm. I'd prefer something like Daddy drinks from uh, Kids in the Hall, or it's like, "Hey son, I could kill you anytime I want. Right. I could walk into your room <laughs> and strangle you because I have very quiet shoes." Mommy drinks because they cry. Here's here's the, one of the sticky things about this game. Um, I immediately went, "Oh." damn it, my nieces are like teenagers now. But if they were like five or six, I was like, I would so stealth by this. I'd be like, because hey, <laughs> this, this is way too dark subject material for like a five-year-old. But it's not really dark enough for those walking into it and like, all right, tell me a fucked up story. And it's like, no, then everything happily ever after. So I, I don't know where I fall on that. Like I said, I'm, 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 I'm yeah, just uh, throw the two at it. I'm like, it's not bad if you have it. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It, like I said, it's it's one of those things where like it's not for me, but I can definitely see like I I, I know I know some people who would enjoy this game. Uh, no, yeah, well-adjusted is. people that are <laughs> yeah, trying to run babies off cliffs. Yeah, exactly. It's, what if what if amnesia instead of just having you know the really clever puzzles had a baby and it had you looking at the scenery and trying to see the world or trying to show you the world as you know a baby or a toddler would see it. Uh, it's uh, amnesia oh, okay. was the better game unquestionably but this isn't a bad attempt it's just that the gameplay itself is a bit lacking amnesia the baby descent i, I gotta i gotta ask you ben <laughs> mm-hmm. like at the point where you come up to the stairs at any point you see like man i wonder if i could chuck baby down the stairs and he'll break his neck <laughs> fall down the stairs. <laughs> yeah you, you, you don't you don't fall down the stairs you mm. It's 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 a little it's a little disappointing. Wah, wah. Anyway, anyways, for those of you who don't who aren't interested in baby murder, I don't know what's wrong with you. Coming up <laughs> next, we, we we got some hi, email YouTube. involving hi YouTube, um, inv- involving you know projects that uh, people don't usually hear about. So that's that's gonna be neat. It's about time to wrap this up, cause uh, like the bunch of babies we are, we need to. Get out of here, I guess. You quit projecting, Pedro. I've been awake more than six hours in one minute that I gotta go to bed. And bring me your nipple. T- technically 21 hours now, but I whatever. want uh, almond nipples. Make it a bag. Bite sized almond You nipples. and your nut juice. Nut jobs. Uh, Giggity. If- if you'd like to let us know what exactly in this episode triggered you, feel free to do so by going to linuxcapecast.com, hitting the contact button, and describing in absolute excruciating detail what exactly it was that uh, we did wrong or right. If for some reason you really do hate us and you want to fuel this bit of hate mail what we have going on. Uh, and this week, you feel... Uh, decided to get in touch with us because ironically probably his real name (laughs) possibly yes (laughs) i found this video on google when i searched for uh brizid or brizide vanity yes uh cool that you guys picked it up it's that uh blender game engine game that was originally released in 2016 um 
And he's like, uh, the game is now on itch.io. I'm surprised you even found the game when I started developing it in 2016. Last year, I picked it up again, and I thought it was too far into development to just scrap. I really wanted to move away from the Blender game engine, and now it being discontinued was the final nail in the coffin. It's a bit clunky, difficult to play, and kind of weird, but I learned a lot, and had such a good time developing it smiley face i'll have to write some more about it sometime soon i'll definitely stay tuned to your channel cheers That's thank you <laughs> right up until the point Pedro talks shit about him he's like i'm out yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm not going to because yes we didn't cover the game originally when it first came out because yeah blender game engine game so well, it's good I to mean, see that it's moving away from that. And yes, there were a lot of quirks and movement was basically impossible to control. But hey, progress. <laughs> what are we using to control for Python? Oh, my God. Why? Um, <laughs> Strider intensifies it. Hey, I got mad respect. I mean, outside of that, we had Sintel. We basically had that and a couple of like racing wipeout demos that weren't mm -hmm. really games so mm -hmm. i'm just gonna say kudos to you for taking up the challenge of um uh, like i'm actually going to use the game engine to try to make a game and making something man i mean good on you yeah <laughs> and that's knowledge that will probably serve you i mean you won't it won't have any practical use but it'll serve you well <laughs> maybe look into good hmm? yeah yeah good good is always a good choice that, that's it's definitely great. a thing did anything ever become of that uh like well-made uh, 3D prototype with a good You know the one I'm talking about. Didn't it get a Kickstarter I, I, th I think it's, I think it's literally just like a demo for, um, for Godot. Like they just use it to like show investors and stuff. Oh, uh, okay. Seems good. I don't know, man. Yeah, if, 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 that, if that's the one I'm thinking of, I think we might be, we might be talking about two different things. Could be. Hey, I mean, if you have a uh, game engine that you would rather you, well, if you've switched engines from Blender, did you make a game? On Blender, <laughs> and Dude, or what, did you, you just give up on that idea? What, 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 no, is this like, no, a, like, no. a, like a Zen Cohen? If if you make a game in Blender, is it really a game? No, man. We, we can be like a Blender support group. <laughs> like, come talk to us. Schrodinger's it, game. We'll, we'll, we'll help you through it, man. I mean, you can. Talk, it's safe to talk about it with us. I mean, it really isn't. Back. No, probably not. Probably a horrible <laughs> idea. But that's gonna put a bow on this show because it's been fun. It's been real. But you know what? Let's Five do things. <laughs> hey man, Blender's real. That's awesome. <laughs> I want to believe Blender for life. No, said not even the developers. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to get hold of me, I'm at Vin Stone on Twitter or just at Vin. Might be at Vin Stone on mass.linuxgamecast.com. Hanging out there, doing the things. And uh, yeah, boot me in Discord if you're hanging out there. I usually will get back to you in something resembling a timely fa manner, fashion. I don't know. Words. I'm Jordan Swung, and I don't believe in Blender. I don't think Blender actually exists. In fact, I don't believe that 3D exists at all. I'm a flat something society Do member. Do you hear that, Futurama? It's a lie. I know, right? Uh, you can find me spewing my conspiracy nonsense at the Burning Fool on Twitter or at Frojo on our Mastodon at mass.linuxgamecast.com. And I am Pedro Matos. You can find me just generally butching... Uh, yes, butchering, butchering the English butching. language. Uh, on Twitter, you need, sure, you need shorter hair for that. Yes, and uh, if you needed more evidence as to just how much I butch the English language, there it is. <laughs> I'm going to tap the fucking brakes on that right now. Yeah. <laughs> no, hit, hit that eject button. Bye. <laughs> Peace out. Bye. May it contain nipples, not nipples. <laughs> ah, you and your nut juice. Oh man, I think a beautiful party patrons, our executive producers, executive class, our theorem, Mr. Foxdog, MT, the Atomic Ass, Mike G, Barbara, Trauma 7, all this, Hoplo, Mackic, and the game. Oh. Of equally as important, but too many to fucking Look at all of them! Until, <laughs> until we can resurrect the micro machine guy. <laughs> we need whoever it is that they're hiring to do like the um resurrections find me find that person i'll put them in the payroll <laughs> i got i got i got i, I got a list wait are people who can bring us back from the dead I, people yes. are gonna bring back from the dead ish 
I, I want like the budget resurrection guy. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 it's the, you, you you want the Laura Moon? Is that what you're saying, dude? I, I want the resurrection guy that takes coupons. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Have a leprechaun drop a coin down your chest. There, you're alive again. Hey, man. Oh, more on that in the after show. We'll definitely we, we gotta address some shit with American gods. <laughs> no, on that bombshell. Good night. Bye. Five dudes. <laughs>